Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going through the steps on how to move a virtual hard drive from one VM to another in VMware vSphere. So you have a VM and you have a hard drive on it, a disk drive on it, and you wanna know how to move that disk drive from one VM to another without losing any data, without doing all that sort of thing. Um, let's go through and do this. So we've got a VM called mail serve, which you're just going to go in and have a look. We're just going to console into that particular VM. And you'll see in here, I've got a E drive configured. So under my computer, E drive, it's configured at 40 gig and it's got a couple of folders in here. All right. Now I'm also terminal servered into another computer, which is this DC serve here. If I open that up, you'll see that it just has a C drive and that's it. Doesn't have this, this disk that we want. So within mail serve, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this drive here, which is connected to the mail serve dash 01 VM to this new VM, which is DC serve 01, all right? So easily, easy way to do this is we right click on mail server and go into edit settings. And we wanna make sure we're selecting the correct disk here. So you've got two disks. You've got your C drive disk, which will be this one. And then you got your secondary disk. So this secondary disk is located in this location here. So this is running on a ready NAS and this is the path. So this is the VMDK file, which we're going to transfer and add to a new VM you'll see that the size is 40 gig, all right? So it's a matter of selecting that, saying remove. Now, make sure you select remove from virtual machine only. Do not select the bottom option because if you select the bottom option, as it says, it will actually delete those files and you won't be able to retrieve anything. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna say remove from virtual machine. This will remove the disk from mail serve 01, but will not remove the hard disk to itself. Okay, remove from virtual machine. Okay. You'll see the progress down the bottom is now says complete. And if we go back into here, that disk is now gone. This is under mail serve consoled in. There is no more, uh, there's no second disk anymore. All right. Now we do exactly the same thing, but the opposite on the second VM, which is DC serve. We go into edit settings. As you can see, it just has the one hard disk here. And now we're gonna say add hard disk, next. And we're gonna go and say use an existing hard disk. So reuse a previously configured virtual disk. So we're gonna now go and select that and next. And now we're going to go and browse to the path that we made note of where mail servo one was sitting for that secondary disk there. Browse. I know that it was on here. So it's gonna go and scan this particular data store. We know that it was called mail serve 01. We go into there. And this should have listed that particular file. And that is it. Right, so that is the file that we are talking about. Now you will see it says 154 meg. Don't be deceived because this is thin provisioned. So it's only using 154 meg, but it is actually the 40 gig file. Now, first thing that you wanna make note of is if you say okay to this, let's just do this. I'll show you for this demonstration. We leave the rest as default, finish. It's now going to add that disk. You will see now that I've got hard disk one pointing into DC servo one and hard disk two is now sitting in mail servo one. What you may want to do is you may want to actually move that particular, let's actually do this. You may want to move this VMDK into here before we do it. Um, because even though this will work, if in the future somebody's going through and they, and they say, oh look, well mail servo one no longer exists, let's go and delete it you've then gone and lost this file that's sitting actually in DC serve, but it's pointing to mail servo one. So let's just say remove that. 
and we're going to browse the data store. store. Storage, this is the data store. So you go and select the data store that you know had that particular VMDK. Browse data store. So we go into mail servo one. And you should see that VMDK file listed in here, which there it is. We want to then select this option here, which is to move this particular file to a alternate location. So we're going to select that and yes, you can move it to an alternate data store. You can also select the same data store, which is in what we're going to be doing in this case. Select your destination folder. It will take a little bit of time to actually populate that list and then select DC Servo 1 and move. So that is now going to move that VMDK file from mail servo one into DC serve one. And you'll see that that's where it is. All right, so now at least we know they're in the same location. They're, in the, they're using the same data store. All right, the same, the same folder within the same data store. So let's just go back into what we were doing so DC serve, right click, edit settings. We now go add hard disk, use an existing disk. And now we're gonna to navigate to ready NAS. And we're gonna to navigate to that DC serve 01. This one here, open. Select, okay, next, next, finish. All right, so you've got hard disk one and this will now become hard disk two. So if we say okay to that, we see the progress down the bottom. So it's now reconfiguring this VM and adding the second, second disk to that that we just copied from the other VM, from mail serve 01. So, now we're on this VM. All right, so this is the VM that we were just talking about. All right, DC serve. So if I go into the, you know, you'll see that at the moment there's still no disk here. Just has my C disk, my C drive. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is go into manage. So right click on computer, go into manage. So this will be slightly different if you're on a Windows 2012 or a Windows desktop. Uh, well, uh, Windows um, Client Edition, but the process is you know, pretty much the same. You're going into Disk Management. This will show you the C drive that it's already connected, but should also have the secondary disk in there. And as you can see, it's currently offline, but it, there it is, 40 gig. So right click and we say online. Go. So it's now added that disk, E drive, and there are the files that I had in there before. Okay, so that is now moved the disk from this VM over to this VM here. Nice and easy. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.